Get back, Paco, back. Paco doesn't really know how to stay behind the threshold. He lacks in smarts. Paco, sit. Sit, Paco. Sit, sit. Stay, stay. <laughs> Paco says, I don't do any of that, he's but got, I dance. He's I got dance. nothing, yeah. He doesn't sit, stay. Once Dash is up from his nap, it's time for him to eat. Uh, when, when I feed Dash, it's it's kind of disgusting. They, we sit him down, and he's surrounded, you know, by dogs sort of picking at him if food falls. They're eating it off his shirt, and they're, you know, they're inches from his face and just staring at him, and you know, and it's just unpleasant. They're like piranha, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and the little one, he he stakes out the spot underneath because uh, he's the only one that can fit under there. And then she gets right up there, and then we're done. All done, Dash. Okay. And then they just. Done. They just attack In one way, this is good, because this is building up a positive association. Dash is a source of good things. But if Dash doesn't give them the food and resists, you never know what could happen. You always have to be so careful with dogs and children. Uh -oh. You need to make a clear definition of when the dogs are allowed to eat in the kitchen and when they're not. It could be dangerous if Dash decided that, you know, the, he didn't want the dogs to have his food, and he said no. Right, when it comes to food, dogs are animals. Of course. Victoria wants to improve Nicole's communication with Paco. I wanted to teach Paco the down command because he doesn't know any kind of language at all. There's no real communication between him and his owners. I also wanted to show Nicole that this dog can learn. It might be slowly, but he can learn. First, Victoria tries using a treat to entice Paco to lay down. But after 12 long minutes, Paco still isn't catching on. She said there's no such thing as a dumb dog. She's being very politically correct <laughs> because I don't know how much smarts that Paco has. If he's obviously not getting it, then there are little things that I can do to help him. I need to do this. I make a tunnel with my leg, and the dog has to go underneath the tunnel in order to get the treat. This gently encourages Paco's body into the lying position. After another 12 minutes, there's a breakthrough. Down. And Victoria adds the vocal command. Good boy, all right. Now it's Nicole's turn. Down. Good boy, all right. Those connections might be a little slower, <laughs> but they're there. To prove it, Victoria wants to try again with a vocal command and hand signal. Down. Good boy. Yay, Paco. Okay, you do that a couple of times. Paco. Down. 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 Good boy. He's got it. Yeah! He's now made that connection. So many dogs are called stupid because the owner doesn't have time to really be patient and work with them. And I think Paco was in that category, but you know, he's not a stupid yeah. dog. He takes longer to learn, longer to figure things out, but once he does, he's got it. Victoria moves inside to instill some mealtime manners. Now, can you do what you do with the dogs at mealtimes and get them behind the line of the doorway? Okay. You guys, back, 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 back. 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 Stay. Okay, good. Thanks to Nicole's previous training, the larger dogs know how to stay out of the kitchen. But Paco is another story. Paco's under your chair now. Uh, get back. Back, back, back. Good. Back, back, back. Uh-uh. Back, 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 back. Back. No. Back. And what you can do, just get up with your body, and just body block. So just sort of, that's right. You sort of walk into him, as it were. There you go. Stay. As far as standing at the doorway, Paco has the hardest time, but he has the hardest time with everything. He's just sort of slow on the uptake. He doesn't quite get the process as well as the other dogs do. Back. Stay. It takes several more attempts. Stay. But when Nicole stays firm, Paco finally relents. That's not so bad. And when I'm cooking, the same thing. When you're cooking, the dogs aren't allowed in here. They come in, you just do your back. Y'all done, Dash? 
Now, back, back, stay. How interesting that was. As soon as you got up, yeah. it was like, okay, here we go. Yeah. And you said, mm mm. Yeah. So that's what you've got to continue to do. The dogs are so used to when they get up from the table, it's a free for all. And I said, that is the time to really enforce the training so that the dogs realize the only time you are allowed to come into this kitchen is when you're eating your own food from your own bowls. It's time to do a little more training with Paco. The reason why I wanted to do more training with Paco is because they wanted to use the training, obviously, in everyday life, especially when they're asking him to get behind the line in the kitchen. They had a few concerns, so that's something I wanted to address. We'll teach him a simple stay, um, and then hopefully he'll get it, okay. okay? With the stay command, I set it up very easily. First of all, I just stood in front of him and did time. I put my hand in front of his face stay. and held it there so that he was focused on me. I waited for about five, 10 seconds, and then I rewarded him. I gradually built up the duration before I started with the distance. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. You're just a, just a movie dog. Stay. Stay. Good. Stay. Uh, up. Stay. Stay. My goal was to get to four steps, which we did, and it's difficult. Paco is a mover. He likes to move all the time. Stay. Very good. Good boy. job, Paco. You did it. I don't I Four got steps. That was very good. Good boy. That was good boy, very Paco. Good. Try that. You try that and see how he responds. We need to get him sitting and staying or, or you know, laying down, down and staying. We need to get him to do that in some sort of way that helps us in our day-to-day -day lives. It's it's just a beginning, but it's certainly something that I can work on. I just didn't know how to do it before she came. Stay. Mm -mm. Come here. Come here. Stay. Stay. Good boy, Paco. Very good. I felt three, I felt four. We'd be pushing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, awesome. Swap, you have a go? Stay. Good boy. Good. Stay. Stay. No, 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 no. Stay. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited because I think that in the amount of time, you know, we worked on for 10 minutes and he was staying to the point of where we could go four steps, you know? And uh, so my, my hope is that we can get him to stay when we're in the kitchen um, and, and not come in. Stay. Very nice. Very good. Very good. So now you've incorporated the down with the stay. With Victoria gone, Nicole and Jason are eager to get started with the training. Down. Both take turns working with Paco on the new commands. Down. Good boy. Paco bow. Good boy. <laughs> Later in the day, it's meal time for Dash. Chicken. Paco back. And Nicole takes the opportunity to bring Jason up to speed on the training. Use your body to block him if he goes too far into the room. Paco. So I'm feeding Dash, and Paco comes into the kitchen, and I'm, I body block him and tell him to get back. And obviously, I'm bigger than him, so that worked. <laughs> After a few attempts, Paco eventually gets the message. Pretty nice, huh? You can eat in peace. 
Good girl, Donna. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.